Here's another good example of Itagaki throwing the proportions off whenever it comes to Baki characters, but it seems like the heights are confirmed. And Jack has gotten monstrously strong, sending Pickle back with this one single punch. He is known as the toughest man in the world, presenting Andrew the Brick World Many also speculated that Pickle might actually just be messing around with him, but nope, 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 nope. He was actually 100% serious. He showed his back to him, which I didn't even think about in the Animal Kingdom is something that you absolutely do not do, especially when you're dealing with ferocious beasts. But he took a full bite out of Jack. I don't know how he's going to be able to deal with this. And Jack is also what a freaking chad for taking this bite. He's not even phased by it. He's not even like responding to the pain or anything like that. Wow, just wow. I also checked up on some of the stats whenever it came to the heights because people have been talking about that a lot in the Baki Rahan community. And no, there was no other manga panel that actually showed that Jack had done another bone surgery and Tokugawa did not point out that he had gotten taller ever since the Kosho fight. He has always been eight feet around there and Pickle's always been eight feet. So obviously some time has passed and Jack has done another, another bone lengthening surgery. Unless there's just something that we're missing, or Dagaki's trolling us somehow or some way. He has done that before. But yeah, the, yeah, apparently the bone surgery had to have been done in order for Jack to have reached this height. So, I don't know. Hopefully we're going to get more context in that. And Itagaki does forget some stuff every once in a while. He is getting older. And while he is the ultimate goat whenever it comes to story writing and Baki and stuff... Not everyone is absolutely perfect. Like he messed up the, you know, the cord cutting technique with his eyes coming back within a few days and it being super simple to fix. You didn't need a week off or anything like that. But that's, I just wanted to update everyone on that because I know I shout out prognostications, but unfortunately no one got that one right. Even I thought that y'all might be right, but um, I was wrong just as much too. So hopefully y'all subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and all so you can see all my future content. Smash the thumbs up, like button, leave a comment, support the mess up YouTube background. Share this around there, but that you know, follow me on all my social media platforms. Get on with it. Yeah. Get over there. And consider joining my memberships for exclusive Baki content and other cool stuff on there like group chats and you would be able to get these videos even earlier and even better quality content. If I was to get a dollar from all the people who supported this one, I'd be able to do these videos full time and that is the dream after all. So just your consideration would be highly appreciated. Get on with it. My favorite thing is that Jack has definitely stepped up his accolades. Ever since he got praise from his father, he seems to want to take everything super serious and he has stepped up his swag, his abilities, his mobility. Oh my gosh, Jack is just as fast. And apparently, like we all thought, and I definitely prognosticated and predicted, he was holding back against Kosho. And now he's taking things a lot more seriously. And I think because Pickle holds a spe such a special place in his heart, he knows that he has to take him that much more seriously. But Pickle, here we go. Let's break it down. Does the jujitsu figure four lock i love seeing the bjj being applied right here pickle looking so small to him now that's just i never thought that we would see something so insane be able to get that i honestly think that like i said before david and goliath jack is going to get all the way up to nine feet he's going to be able to represent something biblical and since he is a religious figure that's what he's going to get all the way up to but seeing jujitsu and pickle learning how to actually fight and do better i love being able to see that kind of stuff and we have the crowd there and right, cut that out. Pickle, stop it. By the way, you know, Tokugawa is always the same. Now, he's literally trying to get him off them. Oh, I love that. And then the crowd's just like, so they're not actually acting? They're, they're not just filming? Oh, this is actually real? I can't believe it. And I really love that Tokugawa is this uh, insane about it. He doesn't want them to fight on the street. And Jack goes, showed you my back, didn't I? That's forbidden in the animal kingdom. That's on me, I guess, huh? And he has no response to this biting. It looks like he's flexing or something like that. And he's not. Pickle's not even able to take a big chunk out of what he used to be able to do. And he says, I'd like you to step away, please. Just so calm. So not giving an F. And he doesn't get off. So Jack's like, all right, I got an answer to this. I got a counter for this. This is where he shows that speed and that technique countering his own Gudo uh, martial arts. And it makes sense that he would know how to be able to counter it. But he winds up right here just like Ujiro. Just like Ujiro got Baki off of his back when he was getting him on the rear naked choke and he didn't have to do this. He basically uses the same move and Tokugawa has to get out the way quick. 
And so he does the swing, winds up, winds up, and Pickle is still holding on for dear life. And Jack just speed blitzes out of his way. And Pickle is just like, what? Where did he go? Jack using his father's techniques right here. And man, it is just absolutely amazing. I don't know what I'm going to use the thumbnail on this one, but I might end up using this one on the thumbnail because that's a really cool panel right there. But I wanted to use the one of Jack actually punching him because, man, Jack has gotten so powerful. And Pickle is just like, what the heck? Not only because of his speed, but then we're going to get this power scene next. Now, once again, Jack doesn't even respond to the pain. He knows how bad it is. But yet, he doesn't care. Like, to be able to have that amount of pain tolerance, I'm the toughest man in the world. And I didn't say the best. I said the toughest man. And even I would be like, ow! And he, uh, Jack warns Pickle as if he is beneath him. As if he knows that he can beat him. And it seems that Jack actually, his confidence isn't misplaced. He actually said, Pickle, grit those teeth with that smug smile on his face. And Pickle's like, oh, maybe I should. And Jack winds up that punch. And he's like, he's winding up, whoa, where's the cameras? Is he for real? People still are thinking that this is not an actual real fight. But this is an actual real fight. Once again, pause those manga panels if I'm moving a little bit too fast for you. And he hits Pickle right in the nose with that huge hand. He's able to cover his nose, his mouth, his everything. He hits him square dead on. Now, he doesn't make him too powerful. Jack absolutely sends him flying back, just like Yujiro whenever he hit um, Nomino Sukune. And it just, he didn't exactly knock him out, but he definitely sent him flying back. We had the same kind of manga art panel right here. Jack just absolutely pummeling Pickle and blasting him away. And he is bleeding. Like, th here's the thing, guys. Pickle's bleeding. Like, it look, look at it. Look at this part. Looks like he broke his nose, moved him all the way to the side right there. Like, it's not as painful as the bite, but, like, his whole face is caved in. What the heck is going on right here? Jack sends him flying back this far. Pickle is on it. Like, Jack before hit him with that uppercut right there and only was able to go in the air but still landed on his feet. editing these scenes in there for y'all because i want to bring y'all the best quality content even though it takes me longer so hopefully y'all appreciate that make sure y'all stick around to the end for that jack hama epic speech and voice edit clip right there that i always put at the end to make sure that i increase my watch time give y'all more incentive to watch but yeah the crowd is like he did it he really went flying this is insane and pickle is just taking it back he's like what the heck was that and his nose is in a little bit better place right here, but he's still bleeding. I bet you that nose could still be broken right there. And Pickle is just laying down flat. Now, Jack did not knock him out. He's not down for the count or anything like that. Pickle actually gets up the old style, like Yujiro style. I, I forget who the character was, and I, as soon as I for, you know, get off this uh, video, then I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, who was that? But I believe it was Kosho that actually did kind of like this flying up thing as a recovery. And yeah, this is some epic acrobaticness by Pickle. And we all knew that he was capable of it, but learning it, he's been learning to fight. So we're going to actually have Jack's uh, you know, new abilities and strengths countered by Pickle's new ability. If I, I love that Jack has been learning martial arts, and he does love martial arts. He loved being able to learn new things. And while he can't learn the English language, he'll never have the synapses in his brain to be able to learn the English language and be able to keep up with the rest of us. He actually <laughs> is uh, still learning how to fight because you don't need the synapses to be able to do that. He's a true warrior, a natural warrior. Gentlemen, how about we call it a day here? Koor Yama apparently having grown. Now, a lot of people were concerned about this. Why is he almost as tall as Pickle? Caro is, you know, a little bit above six foot, you know, at, at maybe even the medium amount. And he's just as tall as Pickle now, who's eight foot. 
I know that the proportions are not exactly correct. But with that being said, I do think Pickle is leaning down just a little bit because he's about the right height compared to Jack that they did in the previous panels. Also, it is normal, not normal, it is extremely rare, but people who are genetically gifted like Haniyama is can still keep growing up to the 25. Your brain, especially as a man, doesn't mature until you get to 25, doesn't get establish its full growth, and you can keep growing. And because Hanma was born to be strong, it is more than possible that he has kept on growing throughout this whole thing. So I just want everyone to know, I know it you know, doesn't make a lot of bit of sense, and it might be Itagaki actually just forgetting stuff, but it is possible. So I want to see if this is actually something that ends up being true. And whether Itagaki keeps on uh, drawing Karu Hanayama with that new height, if he's uh, actually grown or not. And he's like, now who's that? The director? So it was a shoe. Oh my gosh, these people. You would think that they would learn by now. You would think that after seeing the Yujiro versus Baki fight that has been streamed over cell phones and everything like that, all the other stuff that has been caught up in public, that they would learn this by now. But whatever, you know, people never learn. The masses are always so indoctrinated and... You know, just the mass media just get no that wasn't real no no you ain't you don't believe your lying eyes like they've been doing with creepy joe and all that stuff lately it's just an absolute shame but baki rahim will be on break next week again we will be having a break next week again and i wish we were getting another chapter next week but i like the fact that we know when we're going to be able to get these next chapters and that we get these announcements uh, shout out to josh for uh, translating this as quickly as he did we really really appreciate your hard work let me know y'all's prognostications in the comments i can't wait to see what y'all have to say i'll shout out the one that gets it right even though no one did get it right the last time but i still love y'all's predictions that actually honestly makes sense consider joining my membership sub like hit the bell and all comment share all the good stuff follow me on my social media platforms like facebook Roma, twitter instagram tiktok bishu odyssey links to that being in the description first comment once again x and Roma are the most important ones there should be some tasks popping on the screen right now or in a few seconds of other content i think you all enjoy if none of those took your fancy check out the rest of my channel there's something here for everybody not just baki coverage and all the fights but also kengan asura dragon Dragon Ball anime coverage, USC fight coverage, my own professional Muay Thai fights, and uh, political humor, all sorts of good stuff on there. That's enough of me ranting, and I will see y'all later. Peace out, my friends. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. I can't wait for the next chapter. Here's the Jack Hama edit. You see what I've spent my whole life becoming? Good food, good drink, women, money, fame, and glory. I've given up on all those things. There's only one thing that truly satisfies me! I want to be strong. That's why I abandoned everything else. I was always training, even to the point of incontinence. I pumped so many drugs and roids into myself, I nearly died. I wanted to make myself bigger, so I had my bones lengthened, and I got taller. But that cost me unbelievable pain. Everything I've done has been for one purpose, to gain strength. That and that alone is what my whole life has been about. And now here I am, representing the modern age. So tell me, boss. I'm doing pretty good, don't you think?